ain't finna let a little drive stand in the way of a money-making opportunity. Or a get killed opportunity. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Cause in reality, all them fools wanna clap your ass. Man, where the trust that dog? I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lick, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up, I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the biz ale. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was gonna parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Und damit hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play GTA 5 mit mir, Wolfram Kapit. Man, you show? Cause I'm sure there's been a few times when... No, I'm completely 100% sure. Every time, nigga. Whether you buying drugs, selling drugs, or discussing drugs. Talking about the weather or whatever. Man, these streets is hard, dawg. This the hood you talking about. Maybe you forgot, since you've been uh, bettering yourself, sitting in that house on the hill, looking down on the animals in South Central and shit. Man, you know it ain't like that. Do I, my nigga? Because that's the way it looked to me. I'm making the best out of what I'm giving. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't in some type of mentorship program. The only mentor I got... And we gonna do something about that, dawg. Trust me. Man, I ain't got people teaching me that white-collar crime shit. Ain't shit changed for me, and you ain't helping. Ain't helping? What the fuck you call this? Me, Michael, Trevor, we all came up here to help. The unholy fucking trinity. Ballers beware when these fools rolling together. You jealous of Michael and Trevor? What happened to me and you fucking shit up? Form gangsters, nigga. So I shouldn't have called them, right? Man, I was doing everything in my power to make sure you wasn't clapping. I can make sure I ain't clapping. Clearly you can't. Next time, homie, don't come. And matter of fact, if you do come, don't bring them, dude. Man, look, let's not talk next time. Next time, don't get your ass in the situation, all right? It's the hood, Frank. That's what happens in the hood. No, the fuck it don't. Not for everyone. I'm one of them dudes that it happens to. Man, you gonna tell me what was going on back there? Hood shit, homie. That's the shit that's different from the country club shit your overpaid ass is presently accustomed to. Man, stress put us on this shit, man. Man, we gonna get on his ass. Man, fuck that, homie. Look like I give a shit. Nigga, I give a shit. Stress do what he do. Niggas want me dead, be dead themselves. I ain't gonna overreact to shit. Overreact? Man, that nigga Stress tried to get you killed, nigga. Nigga, that's the hood. I'm still here, ain't I? Just. You sure Stress knew they was gonna book me? Yeah, nigga Stress knew. Everybody knew Stress knew. Tanisha knew Stress knew, and she don't even come around the fucking hood no more. Damn, that nigga Stress janky like that? Man, you don't see this? Man, Stress been screwing us from the start. Like from back in the day? From like the other day, dawg. Since after we went to the recycling place and D and them ballers try to take us down. But Stretch put in the work on D. Yeah, man, that's survival. Remember how angry his ass got? Especially with you bringing him into this shit? Aight, aight, but tell me this, though. If Stretch was fucking with your boy LD, why he set us up with the deal for the brick in the first place? He go off and make peace with the ballers, come back, and then put us on the lick on Grove Street. Man, you remember Grove Street? That brick was drywall. Ripping us off was probably Stretch's ideal anyway. Damn, you think so? It makes sense, don't it? Man, I ain't knowing, man, maybe. Man, Stretch got in with the ballers when he was inside. Played us as Mark's dog, but a bunch of them got booked. So now they gotta come back at us. So Stretch sends you out there where they doing a cush deal. Then you show up and save the day. Yeah, thankfully. Man, it wouldn't even be the same if your boy LD wasn't out here getting in the shit. And FC wasn't getting him out of it. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> man, I don't know. That shit was fun, nigga. Don't tell me you didn't enjoy scrapping like we did back in the day. It ain't back in the day no more, dawg. But it felt like it was. Okay, fool. It was fun saving your useless ass one more fucking time. There you go. That wasn't too hard. You should have seen your face when I came in. You was like, shit, shit, shit. Hey, shit, man. Oh, bullshit, nigga. <laughs> you better check them drawers, homie. You probably shit it yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I die. It's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. Nigga, you didn't look like they was paying you no compliment, nigga. Must have just caught a glimpse of your ugly ass. Nigga, you think I'm some angel come to take your ass somewhere you never going to. You pray to your white man God, homie. I'm going to the Great Plain Beyond where the buffalo keep on roaming and the little squall bitches want me to nut on their face all day. Bitch, please. Bitch, please. Sie sich auch die ganze Zeit anbitchen müssen, ey. <lacht> ah. 
Oh, Gespräch scheint endlich rüber vor, äh, vorbei zu sein. Das heißt, ich darf endlich wieder reden. Ja, das bist du jetzt selber schuld, Kollege. Wobei ich manchmal das Gefühl habe bei GTA, gerade bei den Alten, dass die absichtlich so programmiert sind, dass die was Unerwartetes machen, sobald man irgendwie ziemlich schnell von an hinten an die Rand fährt oder so. Naja, ja, ich bin strange. <lacht> Nigga, so I guess, I guess what we learned is, Nigga, don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <lacht> <lacht> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the sack. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying, leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting them cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the pole house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. How are you supposed to, my nigga? I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this game-banging mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Car. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember what that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Um... Man, get Michael to mine. do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey, oh, flossing ass, nigga. So, and yet? Wo ist der hin? Treffergenauigkeit, 30, drei Wege, Tötung. Achso, okay, ja, Missionszeit. Ja, na, mir ist auch egal. Ich weiß nicht, warum ich immer wieder auf Q drücke. Ah, okay, das mit dem Tab, das äh, hat sich jetzt echt eingebürgert. So, und was gibt's jetzt zu tun? Irgendwie nicht so wirklich was, ne? Was ist denn damit? Garage in der Groove Street? Wie viel Kohle hatten der überhaupt noch? 200.000. Äh, uh, F, mein Vater ist also doch kein komplettes Arschloch. Ich gehe zur Premiere seines Films. Krass, Alter. Ich treffe ihn bei Ponzobis. Damit er sich einen Smoking besorgen kann. Okay. Dann gehen wir mal rüber zu Michael, damit er sich einen Smoking besorgen kann. 
Ich drücke immer noch auf Tab. In jedem anderen Spiel, ne? Ist es wirklich Tab? Um auf die Karte zu kommen. Sei es Assassin's Creed, sei es Tomb Raider. Bei manchen Spielen ist es sogar noch M. Ja Gott, damit komme ich auch noch klar, ne? Aber hier musst du immer Escape drücken. Und Escape ist ja normalerweise das Pausenmenü. Autsch. Kannst du nicht sehen, wo ich langfliege? <lacht> naja. Vielleicht lerne ich das irgendwann noch. Haben wir uns hier nicht eigentlich schon direkt mal... Na doch, das ist doch mein Lieblingsladen hier. Mehr oder weniger. So. Sportkleidung will ich nicht. Jimmy, Dad, ich bin gleich bei Ponsovis. Hab einen Wagen besorgt, einen schicken... Ich hab einen Wagen besorgt, einen schicken Smoking. Okay. Muss soll das da hinten sein wahrscheinlich? Anzüge. Smoking. So. Oh. Nehmen wir. Den nehmen wir auch, aber wir ziehen den an. Ich dachte, Smoking wäre immer mit äh, Fliege. Oh Mann. A limo gem. Really? The Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. Open that champagne, Jimbo. Woohoo! Me and the big dog getting our drink on. Hey, hey, where you going with that? Woo! My dad's a movie producer! Jimmy, get back down here. Which makes me a movie producer's kid. Jimmy! I'm gonna ride out the next two recessions without ever having to work. And I'm gonna get a sports car and a drug habit before appearing on Reality Rehab Show. And then... I'm gonna sell my story and become really judgmental. And I'm gonna use all the contacts I make in treatment programs to become a producer too. And I'm gonna make even shittier movies than my dad does. Cause I don't care about movies like him. For me, it's just an opportunity thing. Woo, yeah! You see the Strizz Edge losers? Jizzle in the movie bizzle. Hear that, Finewood? You hear that, Finewood? Hey, I hear it and I don't like it. We're going to the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard! You're making me crazy, baby. Get back down here! And not to, like, gawk at celebrities from behind a barrier. We're actually, like, properly invited! V to the I to the P! Jimmy! Read my necros! Entitled! E N T! Uh, title! Oh, God. Cause I am! Jimmy! Oh, Pop, chill. I'm done spraying this shizzle. Let's take a drink. Den Junior kann man ja noch hassen, ne? Jimmy, shut up a second. Hey, Devin, look. I need to say about Molly, man. I'm sorry, but I didn't do it. I told you to slow it down, slick. It was an accident. I was there, but I had nothing to do with it. Sure, yeah, hey. You made a fool out of me, Michael, and that is something I'm not gonna forget. Look, Devin, I said I'm sorry. I feel bad for you, but you don't threaten me, because this movie's happening, all right? So let's just calm down and try to be friends again. Oh, absolutely, Slick. Forgive and forget. Namaste. <laughs> hey, we're here. Begib dich zum roten Teppich. 
Was haben wir denn alles so an Knachen dabei? Thanks, Antonio. Give me nice and tight. Hey, it's Laszlo on the red carpet of Meltdown. Some big stars, some beautiful dresses. We're gonna see some side boot tonight. Come on. We did it! Solomon! We fucking did it! Fucking A! <laughs> Fuck you, fate! I may be a lecherous old has-been, but I'm a has-been with a premiere at the Oriental Theater on Vinewood Boulevard. I'll see you in there, kid. Hey, thanks. Enjoy the picture, everyone! Mr. Richards! Mr. Richards, hi. If I could just bother you for a second. Um, I'm Laszlo from uh, Fame or Shame, um, but I do some acting on the side. I was wondering if... Uh... Oh, yeah, of course. You should come see me, kid. I think I got a project that would be perfect for you. Oh, that's fantastic. It's called The Closet. Really modern stuff. <laughs> Pervert. Come on. No, 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 no. Let's go over She's here. lying, okay? I never had surgery. Come on. Milton, Milton, hi. Sorry to bother you. Quick question. Get in here tight. Um, love, love, loved the movie. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. When, when you were that polar bear and you had to eat your baby, I mean, that okay. was... Okay. All right, Jesus Christ. That was emotional. Stick and I just have a hug. Okay. That really affected me. All right, I gotta go. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come on. Come on, let's get in there. Ah, Laszlo. Oh shit! Come on, shit dick. Hat er gerade shit dick genannt? Where the hell is she? Looks like she stood you up. Hey, hope I'm not too late. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Devin, the fuck are you doing here? Hey, what a movie, huh? Meltdown. Congratulations, Mikey. We did it. Hey, let's get a picture, huh? You, me, the proud producer. Such a pleasure working with you. You see? I was here, unlike your wife. Seems to be stuck at home. <laughs> you twisted fuck! You're a dead man! Let's go, Jim, come on! Uh oh. Jetzt müssen wir auch nicht mit der Stretch Limo fahren, oder? Where's Mom and Tracy? Come on! The girls might be in trouble at the house. Du hast zwei Minuten Zeit, um dich äh, für deine Familie zu, ver zu opfern. Du Arsch! <lacht> What happened? I don't know. Net the Carter, by the way. was pissed off at me because I didn't shit can the movie. And then his lawyer died and, and he just told me he's gonna hurt your mom. You killed his lawyer? And now he's gonna kill mom and Tracy? He ain't gonna do anything if I got a say in it. But you fucking killed his lawyer? No, I didn't. It was an accident. I would never do anything to put you in danger. Shit. All right. Okay. They'll be fine. They're tough. This is just a movie guy, right? He, he's not a gangster or anything. No, he's not a gangster. He's just extremely rich. He says he's got all these connections. I'm sure it's just talk. Da wäre ich mir bei dem Penner nicht so sicher. All right, Jimmy, you gotta hide. I'm gonna find the <laughs> girls. Hey, halt, stop. Wir haben für sowas nämlich genau die richtige Knappe. Nicht unbedingt die smarteste Idee, jetzt da mit einer Schrotflinte zu zielen. Okay, okay. Just stay here. Keep your heads down. Be safe, baby. Don't you worry about me. Clear the house! All occupants! Ach Gott, Merryweather. Schieße ich gerade die ganze Zeit in das Geländer. Neither do I. Just keep calm. Na, komm, komm, ich hab dich gesehen. Jetzt sehen wir nichts von Pussy, ich hab einfach nur eine Schrotflinte. Ich hab taktisch vorausgedacht. Close Quarter Combat, bitch. Was seid ihr eigentlich für... Was? Na komm. 
Mein Kopf zu. Meine vollautomatische Schrotflinte mit 30 Schuss ist schon verdammt böse im Nahkampf. Shut the fuck up! Idiot! Oh, ich hätte nicht nachladen sollen, egal. Er lebt noch? Jetzt nicht mehr. Okay, wird glaube ich langsam Zeit, auf die zu wechseln. Okay, eine Panzerfaust habe ich leider nicht dabei. Seid ihr Penner. Gib dich zurück zu deiner Familie. Okay. Was? Wir schießen hier. Sind die Mädels wahrscheinlich trotzdem wieder weg? Autsch. Wahrscheinlich Trevor. Ne, das ist äh, sein Junior. Spezialeinheit, okay. Durchs Bodenblech. Hm. Ach so, hätte ich wahrscheinlich äh, die Zeit noch knacken müssen. I ain't looking for perspective, Lester. They came after my family. All right, right. Uh, I don't know what to say. Does this change where you stand on the Union Depository? Hell no. We move on that right away. Before it gets any hotter. Well, that's smart. Uh, meet me at the strip joint. I'll get word to Frank and Trevor. All right. Good. Das war GTA 5 für heute. Ich denke, morgen treten wir äh, Mary Weather mal tierisch in den Arsch oder treffen zumindest die Vorbereitungen dafür. Ähm, ja. Ich hoffe, wir sehen uns. Bis dann. Euer Wolfgang Kapit. Ciao, ciao.